issue so many of us deal with, and it's bulkheads. You need them, because often the electrical is being hidden up there, but they're not the nicest things to have in your decor. So Karen's going to walk us through uh, what you might want to consider when you've got bulkheads to make them fit in a little bit more. Exactly. Or be more intentional about them. Yeah, I think right. what, what ends up happening is, you know, especially when you're, um, you're renovating and you take apart the, the, you know, the space and you go, oh, there's a like a heat run or you don't have room for pot lights so you want to drop a bulkhead. So in this case what we want we want to just we want to decorate them. We want to make mm -hmm. them look like they're they're not there and that they have a purpose. Right. Okay. So take a look at this uh, before picture of a kitchen. Um, so here, yeah, mm -hmm. what we're looking at is you can see that on the uh, left hand side there's a huge bulkhead. It sticks out into the room. The uh, light fixture isn't centered on the window and then on the right hand side there isn't a bulkhead. So what we did is we brought the bulkhead through on both sides, right. and we dropped the ceiling. Um, woo! Yeah. Because <laughs> all of a sudden it looks like it's supposed to look that yeah, way. Right. Everything's symmetrical. The yeah. lighting's in the Turned middle. Turned it into a feature. Exactly. Right. Into a yeah. feature. So it's now a coffer yeah. as opposed to a bulkhead. Right. Right. I love that idea. Yeah. yeah. This dining room, uh, same sort of situation. So take a look at it, and you can walk us through what's happening there. Yeah. So on this one, you can see that there's a um, quite a large uh, wall unit on the wall, and we wanted to relocate that wall unit and put a fireplace in. Oh, okay. And but. We didn't have anywhere to run the venting mm -hmm. for the fireplace. So we created a bulkhead and across the top, we put ah, built ins underneath it. Right. And that way, everything is hidden. You don't even know it's there. That's Bye. so good. That's You're fun. really good with the built ins. Yeah, yeah. I like built ins. You'll love a, lot. a built in, I right? Do. I do. Especially for someone who's never in a home more than two years. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's crazy, actually, come to think of it. The last house, believe it or not, we yeah. were there for six and a half years. <gasps> That's got to be a record I got attached. for you. I got attached. You got attached. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're gone. Now we're gone. Yeah. I'm in a rental. Okay, we've got a powder room. Uh, two befores now to show you. So walk us through what's happening So this here. powder room is crazy. It's um, The house is really big, but the powder room was, only had seven foot ceilings mm -hmm. and um, had this panel detail. And above it was this, all this open space. So when you walk down the stairs, you can actually see the top of the, um, of the, like the ceiling of the powder right. room. So what we did is we created a bulkhead and a skylight ah. inside the powder room. So I wanted it to be completely open. Yeah. But Take a we, look at the after. We still needed to um, run the ductwork for the fan, which is of course by code. So we did the ductwork for the fan, mm -hmm. and then coffered the whole ceiling, mm -hmm. and then put a lens, like a glass lens, above it. Yeah. And it makes it look like a skylight. You take it, and then you make it something that we intended it to look exactly. like. Exactly. And it looks beautiful. You and know, it looks it, absolutely it, it beautiful. It's looks one of those like, things too, when people are buying a house, I think sometimes you don't notice it because there's so many other things to look at, and then you move in and you go. <gasps> I can't believe they put that in since we bought this house. Yeah, right. That it was, was always there. That's not right. Yeah, right? And it's so, true. And then it really starts to bug you. So. Or a designer comes over and points it out yeah. for you. <laughs> that is all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we've got uh, a condo kitchen as well now. This one is absolutely gorgeous. So this is a before. Yeah, so this um, one really yeah. had a lot of problems with it. There was um, no lighting down the center. The lighting was all in that, the bulkhead on either side. There was duct runs all the way through. Mm -hmm. So we gutted out the whole kitchen and we shifted everything into the cabinetry above the cabinetry. So now when you look at the after, believe it or not, everything is behind that hood fan, behind the or above the cabinets, yeah. and it's all hidden away. It's beautiful. And then we did two surface mount um, fixtures that added a decorative element mm -hmm. and it just looks smooth and continuous and it actually makes the kitchen or the space always look bigger right. because your eye is continuously um, drawn past whatever um, you know that bulkhead was. That's right. It's right. going right down that line. Yeah. Really good tips there for what you can do if you've got the bulkheads. Sometimes you need to create them, right? Sometimes to we, make it we, work. We create them a lot. 